Hi guys, welcome to javainterviewquestions.com. This is Sandeep. Today we will see in how many ways we can create strings in Java. In how many ways we can create strings in Java. Let's create a class called string demo. And uh, before writing the program, we will see the few concepts on strings in how many ways we can create. So first is we can create string in two ways. We can create a strings. We can create strings in two ways. So the first concept is what is string literals. String literals. And the second concept is the second one is by using new operator. Okay, we can create strings using string literals as well as by using new operator. Okay, so let's write a program. So when we say string str equals to hello, when we say string str is equals to hello, we are creating a string using string literals. When we say string str equals to hello, we are creating string using string literals, and uh, when we are creating a string using new operator when we are creating a string using new operator then we are creating string using new operator so let's see the differences between string uh, creating a string using string literal and creating a string using new operator so when we say string str equals to hello, what happens is JVM will check whether the string is available in string constant pool or string pool. If the string is available, it will return that particular string. Otherwise, it will create a new string. So what happens when we say string str equals to hello means JVM will check string pool whether hello string is there or not if the string is available if the string is available it returns the string otherwise it creates a new string object so what happens is jvm will check in string pool whether there is a hello string or not if there is a hello string it will return the particular string it won't create any new object it returns the existing string if hello string is not available in string pool what it do, what it does is it creates a new string object and coming to the second scenario by using new operator when we say string str1 equals to new string of hello what happens is every time a new object gets created Every time a new object gets created, it won't check whether the string is available in string pool or not. So every time a new object gets created, but here if the string is not available in string pool only, it will create a new string. So the advantage of the uh, string literals concept is, so when a, it's a, it makes memory efficient. It makes memory efficient. Why? Because it doesn't create always, it always not creates a new object. If there is an existing object, it will return that object. If there is no object, then only it will create a new object. So let's print the output system.out.println and string. System.out. println str1 so let's run the program and see the output so the output is hello hello
So this is how we create a string of objects in Java by using a new operator and by string literals. Hope you guys understand this video. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my videos.